Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I thought I would share with you some of my products that I have been enjoying um, for a while now. Not necessarily this week, but just things that I thought I should bring onto my channel and mention to you and let you know what I'm using and what I'm liking. And then you might take some recommendations for yourself. If not, that's fine. Everyone's different and it's hot today. Okay, so I hope everyone's had a great week, and let's get started. First, I want to talk about a body wash. Um, I was watching my um, favorites from Lux Mommy, I think is what her channel is called. Anyway, she brought on a product that I had never, ever, ever heard of, and I went ahead and ordered it, and I ordered it off of Vitacost not even knowing really anything about the product other than that she said she liked it and what intrigued me was the scent and so I did order it and I'm very glad that I did I am very much enjoying it and it's this right here it's called the Jason body wash um, let me see if I can get a close-up of it let's see if it's gonna focus is it focusing I think it is anyway this is the Jason in invigorating rose water body wash. It has no parabens, no harsh sulfates, no petroleum, no phthalates. I can't pronounce that. Yes. Is this microwave safe? Uh, should be. It's going to be in there for like 10 minutes. Yeah. So it doesn't have anything in here that is harsh for the skin. It also has um, rose water extract, vitamin E, and pro vitamin B5. So I did get this and I love the scent. The scent smells so good. Oh my goodness. And I also ordered um, a chamomile one because it was on clearance, I think, and also a mango. Um, the, cam the mango is okay, it's not my favorite, but the chamomile, oh my gosh, the chamomile smells really good too, but I thought I would mention the rose water one here. Um, they ran around, ran, they cost around $11, which I know is about the same price as what um, the Body Shop or Bath and Body Works would cost. Now, obviously, it's more than what it cost from the drugstore, and this is... Um, 30 ounces, whereas the um, Bath and Body Works are what, 16 ounces, I think. So you're getting a lot, and it doesn't take very much of this to lather up. I like it because it rinses off clean. Um, it doesn't irritate my skin. My husband likes it, and um, it doesn't have any mineral oil, no lanolin, no parabens, and it's biogradable also. So it's really good. It's good for you. It's good for the environment because it's going to go into your um, sewer system and be okay and not harm the environment, I guess is what I'm saying. So that has been a favorite for sure. The next favorite that I have that I want to talk about is this little guy here. This is from Kate Somerville. It's the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. And I don't know if this is going to focus on this or not because it's white. And it keeps wanting to focus on my face. There we go. Hopefully. So anyway, what this is, this is a two minute facial that you use in the shower because it works best once you have gotten to the shower and moistened your skin. Your skin wants to be clean. You don't want to have any makeup on your skin. So make sure you have your skin completely clean and let the steam from the shower kind of open up the pores and it's going to work so much better. Then you'll put it on um, like maybe a quarter size amount. Rub it all over. Um, avoid the eyes. You definitely don't want to get it in the eyes. Avoid the eyes and then let it sit on your face for a couple minutes. You're definitely going to feel the exfoliation working because you are going to feel a little bit of a tingle. Um, then once you do that, put a little bit of water in your hands and then just rub it around. I like to do that for a couple more minutes and then rinse off and your face will feel so smooth and so soft and when you get out and put your um, your skincare products on for the evening if you are a night shower person your skincare is going to work so much better um, if you do a shower in the morning and you put this on after you do your skincare 
then yeah, her makeup is going to go on really, really good. Um, it's, this is the color of it. It's kind of like a green. It looks like, um, it kind of reminds me of what maybe algae would look like. I had to cut this open because I wanted to make sure I got every last bit of it out. But I love it. It does have like a spa-like smell to it, like an Aveto or um, maybe like a herbaly scent to it. But um, and it is pricey, it is, but you're only going to use it a couple times a week. You probably don't want to use it more than that because it may irritate. Um, but I'm telling you, those two times a week, your skin for the next few days after that is going to look really, really good. And with continued use, your skin is going to look good. Anyway, so um, let's see. A, a 0.5 ounce runs $24. This is the 2 ounce, so this one is going to be $85. But a lot of times Sephora will run like a little promotion code where you can get, I think it's like the half ounce for free or they might have it as a point perk. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. If you've never used this before, go to Sephora and get you a sample of it and try it that way. I'm telling you, you will like it. Um, the ratings on Sephora, they, it gives like almost five stars. So it's, it's a really good product. I've used it for years. I think the first time I ever purchased it was from QVC in a kit. So, I do recommend that. I have, I think I have two, maybe three more uh, various sizes of that to go through. So, I really do like it. Okay, the next product I want to talk about is a product that I ordered off of the Desium. And it is from the Ordinary line. Um, I did have to be on a wait list for it because um, as soon as it came out, it flew out the door um, from this company. And... They should have known that it was going to because of their skincare being so popular all of a sudden. And um, a side note about The Ordinary is they recently did sell out to Estee Lauder, I do believe. So with that being said, I hope they say that they're not going to change the formulation of any of their products, that the cost is going to stay the same, um, and everything's going to be as usual with business with the exception that with them partner partnering partnering up with Estee Lauder they're going to be able to produce faster so but then again when you start really pumping out products you kind of lose, lose a little bit of the quality so I was kind of disappointed when I heard that that they had sold out but so I'm just hoping that the quality of the products doesn't change overall but only time will tell. So anyway, the product that I'm talking about is their um, their foundations that ju they just came out with. And the ones that I ordered are the serum foundations. And I have two different colors here. I actually ordered, I ordered six, six different colors. Um, but some of them were too light for me, so I gave those to my daughter, who's very, 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 very pale. She is like... Um, white. <laughs> She's very pale. Anyway, um, so the color, the two colors that I have been mixing and that what I did was I poured them into this container here that I had gotten from Amazon. It's a little pump container and um, then what's been left in here because not both of these would not fit in that container altogether. Anyway, um, so I mix them, so I mix the colors. So I have here a 1.2 N, N as Nancy is for neutral, and then I have 1.2 P, which is pink, a pink undertone. Those were the two that I ordered. I think they have like a G that's a golden undertone. I'm not really all for sure exactly what different undertones. I know they have like 21 different shades that you can choose from. Um, and that there's different tones and colors that you can pick from. Um, the best part about this product is the price point. They're only $6.70 each, so you can definitely get you know more than one color if you think one color is going to not be the right color for you where you can mix. And that's what I do. I like to mix. Um, this has, to me, a light to medium coverage. It does come with a pump. Um, you can order separately a dropper if you prefer a dropper and 
one of the things that I found out about this product is that one, it doesn't take very much at all. Um, you definitely want to start out with a very thin layer. Don't try and put out like two or three pumps of this onto your hand or your beauty blender or whatever you're using because you're going to have too much and it's not going to sink into the skin. You want to start out less is more with this. Um, I feel like it's a light to medium coverage. Um, some people feel like it's not enough coverage for them. I feel like as we are aging that less is more for us on our skin. And if you're doing your masking and taking good care of your skin, then you're not going to need a heavy duty foundation to cover up everything because your skin's going to look um, perfect. So this is really good for those of us that don't need a whole lot of coverage. Um, plus for the summertime it's really nice because it's very lightweight. Now if you have oily skin I do not recommend this at all because I have medium or um, not medium normal to dry skin more so on the dry and I will tell you that in the afternoon I will start getting really shiny through here and I have actually had to pick up some um, blotting sheets to kind of take care of that little oil or that shininess that comes out through the t-zone when I've been wearing this. I never have had that issue with any other foundations or CC creams that I've worn before. I think the wear on these are good. I definitely set it with the powder and I'll be talking about that next. Um, but because of the fact that it just takes a little bit of product, um, a thin layer, you can put an, another layer on if you would like. I would suggest that once you put that thin layer on that you kind of let the first layer kind of dry a little bit uh, because it is a serum so it's a very, a very wet <laughs> formulation. So um, definitely kind of let it dry before you put that second layer. Um, two thin layers is the max of what you would want to use on this product because if you don't then it's going to really it's going to start settling and it's not going to look pretty but as long as you do a thin layer blend it out i use a beauty blender is what i like to use with this and just i pat it in and just make sure it's really absorbed i just have to make sure that i don't get too much because i've done that um, where I've done like okay let's do two pumps of this and two pumps of this no one pump of this one pump of this and that's little pumps too it's not don't need a whole lot of it so it's worth the wait um, definitely if you're oily though don't get that one there's another formulation I think that's a um, maybe like a floor coverage that might work better for you if you're oily but not that one in my opinion Okay, the next things I want to talk about are the two products that I use in conjunction with that serum foundation, and I like to set it with this here, which is the Laura Geller um, Balance and Brighten Foundation, and I have it in the color Regular. Regular normally is a little bit too dark for me, but because it's summertime, I have a little bit of color here on my neck, so I am trying to match a little bit closer to my neck. That I can normally um, light I think it is is what I like I, I really need fair but sometimes I find that fair or porcelain has a little bit too much pink in it for me even though I have I usually like stuff that's pink but that's what that color there looks like and I just really like I have always found that I have enjoyed the Balance and Brighten from Laura Geller. It runs around $33. There's nine different shades. It's a baked foundation. Um, it's a multiple colors infused in here, so it, it helps with um, color correcting on the face. Um, it's long lasting. I don't feel like it settles in the lines. I don't feel like um, that um, when I sweat sometimes with mineral powders I will get my face will itch this doesn't do that also you want to make sure again with this product that you're using a light hand because if you just keep putting it on putting it on putting it on it is going to get cakey and then it's going to settle and it's going to accentuate your lines it's going to accentuate your pores and you're not going to like it so again less is more with this product and then my last favorite is the product that I or the, the tool that I like to use with that 
powder foundation and this is from Sephora. This was a special edition one. That's why the handle has flowers on it, but they still carry this brush. It's called the number 55 um, Sephora Pro Brush and um, this I think works wonderful. Absolutely wonderful with any kind of mineral foundations that you would want to use because um, it works perfect for buffing that mineral foundation into your skin and if you're using a mineral foundation where it's a pressed one like the Laura Geller or a loose one like from the Bare Minerals the key to making that look really really good is one not using a whole lot and two really getting it buffed into the skin and this just works perfectly because it really buffs it in without just keep moving it around I mean it's going to get it buffed and make it just look really flawless on the skin. This is just what I do. I just make sure I just buff it, buff it, buff it all over, all over in here. And it just works perfect for that. It's not so stiff and that it's not scratchy on the skin. Um, it's not so loose that it's just going to kind of move around and, and not do its job. I mean, it's just perfect. You use a light hand and it's almost like giving yourself airbrush. So I do recommend that. And, um, and now, like I said, this is from Sephora. It's around $34. So anyway, so that is my favorites for this week. I hope that you have enjoyed and will come back and talk with me again.